everyone. I hope you're having a great Monday evening. It's been raining here all day long with lots of thunder and lightning. I have my dogs next to me. With all that thunder, I think they're getting scared. Anyway, I wanted to read to you a letter that I found from the 1930s Depression era. Uh, and I wanted to share this letter because it's important that we learn from history. It's important that we listen to history because many times history repeats itself. So it is very important that, oh, you could you see the thunder? Or I'm sorry, probably hear the thunder and see the lightning. But history is very important and it teaches us many things. It teaches us to plan, to prepare, to survive. And during our current times, um, a lot of people are needing to learn different techniques, skills from history. How did they plan before? How did they prepare before? What do I do? What should I do? What can I do? So many questions. And we can answer a lot of those questions by reading history, by learning about history, by learning about past events. So I wanted to share a letter with you that I came across I am a boy of 12 years. I want to tell you about my family. My father hasn't worked for five months. He went plenty times to relief. He filled out application. They won't give us anything. I don't know why. Please, you do something. We haven't paid four months rent. Every day the landlord rings the bell. We don't open the door for him. We are afraid that we will be put out, been put out before, and don't want to happen again. We haven't paid the gas bill and the electric bill. Haven't paid grocery bill for three months. My brother goes to Lane Tech High School. He's 18 years old. Hasn't gone to school for two weeks because he got no car fare. I have a sister. She's 20 years. She can't find work. My father, he's staying home. All the time he's crying because he can't find work. I told him, why are you crying, Daddy? And Daddy said, we, why shouldn't I cry? when there is nothing in the house. I feel sorry for him. That night I couldn't sleep. The next morning I wrote this letter to you. In my room were American citizens and were born in Chicago, Illinois. And I don't know why they don't help us. Please answer right away because we need it. We'll starve. Thank you. Please like, subscribe, and share.